especially on the pushbacks. Uh, and uh, I enjoyed that. Thanks for your company. Look forward to seeing you next time on The Chase Australia. On Seven's Gold Coast News, a brazen break-in, the final straw for Benoa Waters residents setting up their own crime watch. Two cops in dark glasses accused of perjury over the death of a Bond Uni student. A world CrossFit champion left homeless why the DV victim has nowhere to stay. The great free money stampede, how an internet game got out of control in a Broad Beach park. And country music star Casey Barnes stages a concert on a driveway. Live from the Gold Coast, 7 News with Amanda Abate. Good evening. A fast food meal has helped police catch an alleged teen car thief accused of a brazen break-in at Benoa Waters. Fed-up residents are now taking matters into their own hands to try to stop more crimes. As the day broke, the thieves broke in, stealing cash, credit cards, car keys and then the family vehicles, ramming the front gate to escape. The residents tried to stop them, but the doors were locked and could only watch as their Lexus and Mercedes sped off down Cabana Boulevard. They're in and they're out. They're targeting garages. Hours later, police discovered the Lexus just a suburb away, outside 18-year-old Craig Grundy's home in Ashmore. The court heard a warm red rooster box found inside led police to the evidence. The investigation turned to this red rooster on Cotlew Street, where Grundy was allegedly captured on CCTV ordering drive through in the stolen car. Three girls also faced court today over the incident. It's getting noticeably worse. A resident further up the street says his car was ransacked that same morning. They seem to think we're easy targets for some reason. A group of neighbours is trying to change that. Husbands and fathers who are concerned about the safety of their own family. Manu Kala is one of dozens of residents on call and prepared to assist when an intruder is reported. Some incident we had like 20 cars rocking up. An alert goes out via a WhatsApp group. The intention is not to not to go into there as a vigilantes, just showing their presence on the streets to just push these thugs away. To keep their family safe. Alex Lewis, 7 Gold Coast News. A man arrested for allegedly menacing people with gel blasters has been granted bail. Mick Danny Jones was charged on Saturday after police raided a house on Scarborough Street in Southport. Officers found an arsenal of the fake weapons, including a rifle and a shotgun. Jones was charged with two counts of going armed to cause fear after incidents in Cavill Mall and a Southport bottle shop. <laughs> Two police officers have faced court for the first time accused of lying at an inquest about the death of a Bond University student five years ago. The coroner previously found Grant Watkins and Blake Sullivan, seen here wearing dark glasses, acted inappropriately and incompetently and could have saved the life of Charlie Robertson. They'd spent 90 minutes trying to wake the 19-year-old as they searched a Miami apartment looking for drugs, but they didn't get him medical treatment despite an ambulance being on site. Charlie is owed justice. He's owed an apology. We've had nothing resembling any sort of regret, remorse, compassion from anybody. Charlie Robertson died a few hours later of a drug overdose. Tourism operators say travellers are beginning to trickle back in, but they say the coast has missed its chance for interstate holiday bookings next month. A few hundred metres away from the airports, it's the mint green 1950s style La Costa Motel, a relic of the old Gold Coast on Golden Ford Drive. A lovely beach shack vibe. You, we've got beach towels in the rooms. But barely anyone can fly here and stop in to stay. It's very quiet at the moment. I, I think people are still very nervous about, um, about coming. With no border reopening date confirmed, tourism operators are focused on targeting the September school holidays. Let's build up September and the Christmas holidays. And, and get people excited to travel again. Hotel Commune is usually fully booked at this time of year. We haven't seen any of that, obviously, for three months. It's hoping a complete overhaul of every room can entice customers back. Accommodation providers say they saw an immediate increase in booking inquiries after the Prime Minister hinted the borders could reopen on July 10. They say absolute certainty would bring a deluge of new bookings. Once the confidence comes back and, and the fact that people can't travel overseas for a while, that will you know, come back pretty strongly. The Premier is staying firm on her border timeline. Review at the end of the month, but it is our clear intention that July 10 uh, would be the date for consideration. Just not in time for the school holidays. Dion Savage, 7 Gold Coast News.
A no parking zone at the spit will soon be taken away. The temporary yellow line was painted outside SeaWorld during the height of the COVID lockdown. But over a month after the spit reopened, the boundary has remained. Well, I was made aware of it recently, so I immediately put in a request to get them um, removed. The stretch is expected to reopen for parking by the end of the week. A world champion sportswoman fleeing domestic violence has bravely spoken out about her struggle to find refuge on the coast. Amanda Allen is living in her van with no place to go and desperate for help. Triple CrossFit world champ and author of nine books, Amanda Allen is an unstoppable woman, testing her physical strength to the limit for decades. Now her biggest daily test is survival, living in her van, homeless. It's a slippery slope. Once you can't get the support you need. Fleeing domestic violence late last year, now shuffling from suburb to suburb with her two wolfhounds, desperate for help. Everywhere I've turned, it's just been a door closed. The system needs to support people right there, like right there in the moment. And it's not capable of it. With more demand than supply. We're always very close to capacity, if not at capacity. 100% of the time. Increased calls to DV Connect and police a reflection of the times. Homelessness, a direct correlation. Some refuges on the coast have reported double the number of inquiries since the pandemic. But once government supports cease, they predict that number will rise. Encouraging victims to reach out to those around them to relieve pressure off a complex system. Reaching out to friends and family that are trusted and asking them for assistance as well. And to give a voice to those like a man who for too long remained silent. If I don't speak and other women don't speak this stuff, it just gets pushed under the carpet. Holly Fallon, 7 Gold Coast News. Thick fog covered some western suburbs this morning. From surface paradise, it appeared as though a thick blanket had been laid across the base of the hinterland. Beneath the layer of moisture, buildings at Varsity Lakes faded in and out of the mist as the sun struggled to shine through. Warm air blowing off the ocean brought extra humidity with it, creating perfect conditions for fog. But most of it had burned off by 7 o'clock. We'll have more weather details coming up soon with Liz. But next, what triggered this stampede for free money in a Broad Beach park? Why Casey Barnes performed a free concert in a music fan's driveway? And celebrities in wax back on show at one of the city's most enduring attractions. On 7 News, an emergency unfolding at an Ipswich mine shaft. A second protester tests positive to COVID. Outback manhunt after an attack on a stockman. The changes coming to Gold Coast community sport and the must-have toys of 2020 released. The old favourites making a comeback. 7 News at 6. We've all been very caught up in what's happening. It's actually a lot more positive than I expected. They're supporting one another more. When they smile and they say thank you, that makes my day worthwhile. Keeping the energy up, keeping the vibes up, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. People aren't giving the elderly enough credit. They are resilient and they're encouraging us. Bringing joy and love through the simplest little things. Our Care, five star aged care. For fast relief from the symptoms of common cold and flu, try Dimatap Ultra Plus from Chemist Warehouse. Dimatap is available in liquid capsules providing fast acting, non drowsy relief from common cold and flu symptoms. The two in one pack also comes with added immune support capsules. Right now at Chemist Warehouse, Dimatap Ultra Plus Cough, Cold and Flu Plus Immune Support are $10.99. Live, look, feel well at Chemist Warehouse. Your Ford dealer is open and ready to help your business get back to business with high-vis value. So you can get the special edition Ranger FX4 for only $57,990 drive away. Or the special edition Ranger Sport for just $49,490 drive away. And don't forget to check if your business is eligible for the government's instant asset write-off this financial year. So hurry into your Ford dealer now for high-vis value.
Maltesers buttons. Find them in store now. Tough times don't excuse tougher times at home. Even in crisis, there's no place for abuse or domestic violence. If you or someone you know is affected, help is available online and by phone 24-7. For free confidential advice, support and counselling for women and men, contact 1-800-RESPECT. There's no place for abuse or domestic violence. Help is here. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. The new Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max vacuums and washes your floors at the same time. Dry messes, wet messes, it even freshens rugs. It releases clean water and Bissell formula to help sanitise surfaces. Microfibers mop while soft bristles gently scrub and sweep and powerful suction pulls the dirty water into a separate tank. It's cordless for grab and go freedom. It even cleans itself. To see it in action, visit these leading retailers. Best price every time. The big retailers competing against each other to provide the cheapest price. You just select the best. 30% plus off major brands. I've saved many hundreds. How Aussie consumers are getting bargains better than online prices. Only on 7 News tonight. Broad Beach locals were left stunned on Saturday when a large group stormed a park in search of free cash. It was a game of hide and seek that went viral online. From the outside, these look like frantic scenes in Broad Beach. A group of youngsters running, digging and climbing, looking for cash. A giant game of hide and seek that all began here. Hey guys, so we're hiding this box with the money and want you guys to find it. TikTok stars Jake and Kai promote a hidden 300 bucks to their 300,000 social media fans. So use the clues you have so far to work out exactly where it is. The viral post had good intentions. A lot of people aren't working now as well, they're at home. So like, you know, just try and help people out. That escalated to more than 100 locals playing along. Yeah. Fun and exciting. I'm, I'm glad, you know, everyone enjoyed it on the day. But some onlookers weren't so impressed. Oh. You're going to be held <laughs> Can you put for us in the news, Concerned over social distancing rules, while organisers tried to keep the crowds in line. Please, can we all push back, guys? Some rules more successful than others. Yeah. Yeah. The blue and pink haired social stars now planning the next big hunt. It was a test and there's a lot of things we can do in the future to, you know, plan it better. One thing they have on their side is the power of social media. Holly Fallon, 7 Gold Coast News. Local country music singer Casey Barnes has staged a surprise driveway concert. He had a small crowd rocking outside a Terranora home. For 30-year-old Sam Cleaver, music is everything. And after hearing the sound of an acoustic guitar for the first time in months, his face lit up. I did a good job. Give him a warm welcome. A big hand. <laughs> Sam is autistic and hasn't fully understood why he wasn't able to return to Twin Towns to enjoy his weekly dose of dancing. When this COVID hit, that was the most thing that was taken away from him, going to live music, because he goes twice a week. That's when a campaign was launched by his sister to bring live music to Sam's driveway. And we just sort of wanted to figure out a way that we could make him happy, because he was feeling a bit sad and not himself. Triple M's Bridge and Spider hopped on board, enlisting the help of Casey Barnes. One of the coolest gigs I've done in a long time. Music is the universal language. Sam and his closest friends were treated to a three-song set and an encore. Every Thanks a lot, Bridge and Spider, for coming. You're, you're such an angel, Chris Stevens. And here for Chris Stevens, bring it on! Him, him, away! Three cheers! Courtney Dunn, 7 Gold Coast News. One of the city's oldest tourist attractions is open again and appealing for local visitors. The Wax Museum in Service Paradise is like a coast version of Madame Tussauds. It has hundreds of wax celebrities plus a chamber of horrors. We'll give you a peek inside shortly. Just ahead, the Suns celebrate a stunning upset. 18-year-old Matt Rowell, the star, as they clip the Eagles' flag hopes. Plus the Titans snap up a Tigers flyer after a beating from the Bunnies. Oh, 
on 7 News, an emergency unfolding at an Ipswich mine shaft. A second protester tests positive to COVID. Outback manhunt after an attack on a stockman. The changes coming to Gold Coast community sport and the must-have toys of 2020 released. The old favourites making a comeback. 7 News at 6. New Big Brother, tonight, 7.30 on 7. Chill. A little bit of chili, a little bit of turmeric. Classic hits to carry you through the night. Dinner's up. Oh, Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, Sugar. Best dinner yet. Wish you had the internet that didn't let you down, that doesn't leave you hanging, and won't have you missing any of the action? Get Vodafone NBN with 4G backup. Plans start from just $55 a month. And with free express delivery, connect instantly once you receive it. Buy online today at vodafone.com.au. Ready? There's only one thing to look for. Choose a super fund with this symbol. We're all in this together. These undies make you chafe. And these, as well as these. Chafing is horrible. These are step ones. The inventors of no chafe underwear. They've got these lacquer panels between the legs, which means no more chafing. You buy them at stepone.life and never chafe again. There's only one thing to look for. Choose a super fund with this symbol. We're all in this together. Treat yourself to a smooth, delicious barista-made McCafe coffee and we could treat you to a free coffee every day for a year. Drive through and buy any McCafe drink and go in the running to be your local McCafe winner. What are you looking at, hon? Oh, just a little bit of t &W. Huh? Hey, I've got a package for Anna. Wow, you're here already. Temple and Webster. Save today on our massive end of financial year sale. Are you ready to get back to life as you love it? Get full digital news access plus weekend home paper delivery for just $5 a month for the first three months. Call 1800 323 111 today. On 7 News, an emergency unfolding at an Ipswich mine shaft. A second protester tests positive to COVID. Outback manhunt after an attack on a stockman. The changes coming to Gold Coast community sport and the must-have toys of 2020 released. The old favourites making a comeback. 7 News at 6. The Suns have snapped a 19-game losing streak with a dramatic drubbing of flag-fancied West Coast. Leading the way was their youngest player, 18-year-old Matt Rowell. The song no one expected to hear. And at the centre of it all, teen sensation Matt Rowell. 25 disposals and two goals in just his second game. A young gun. How's the finish? It is perfection from Matt Rowell. Pure enjoyment and excitement and the boys got around me and it's just, it's an awesome feeling. Two mates from Melbourne scoring their first AFL six pointers in the same quarter. This looks pretty good off the boot and Noah Anderson has his first major. Will Power was a revelation on his return with the win holding extra meaning. Makes it even better feeling knocking off my childhood like, heroes. And though West Coast gained ascendancy before the break, Stuart Dew's young guns stood their ground against the game's most formidable midfield. We were able to just grind away and you know, we, we talked about that before the game. Defying the odds against a team tipped to take the flag for their first win in 14 months, 90 to 46. Unfortunately, we had none of our fans here to see it, but I know, we know they'd be watching and hopefully they're proud of that group. With momentum and a clean bill of health, they faced the Crows next, who were smashed in their home derby showdown, the only side the Suns are yet to beat. Expecting their absolute best and we're expecting them to respond, but that's what we want. Now we've got to back up, so we've had a good win and now we've got to go again and keep going every week. Mitchell Crone, 7 Gold Coast News.
The Titans have snapped up a permanent replacement for injured fullback AJ Brimson. Corey Thompson has joined the club effective immediately after being granted a release from the Tigers. He'll be available for selection this weekend following a three-year deal. The signing comes after the coast was given a hiding by the Bunnies. They led South Sydney race to a 20-point lead in the first half. A fierce fight was foreshadowed after the Hound evened the score after seven minutes. It's got a semi, the match winner. But the scales quickly tipped as the Titans conceded try after try. We weren't good enough, you know. Entering the break with a 20-point deficit and a sore gi arrow. He'll be OK. He's a, he's a great, um, great player for us, very tough. Tough enough for a stint at centre after Dale Copley was caught up in an awkward tackle. Have a look at that, but it doesn't look great short term. That was seconds before Bryce Cartwright scored his first try in 11 months. Don, who wins the jump, gets the ball and brought some life back to the now more determined Gold Coasters. Strong defence, Mitchell touching goal. But the spark came too late and numerous opportunities were missed before the Rabbitohs put the final nail in the coffin, cruising to victory 32-12. to Passes for Totola, Totola on the Dane Gagai. It's always good you can claim it was a, a good second half performance but had to work way too hard in the first. Mitchell Crone, 7 Gold Coast News. A local accountant hopes to break a Guinness World Record, but not for bookkeeping. Jared Young will strip off on Friday, attempting 3,000 push-ups in one hour. He's previously held it for 2,806. you got to, in the end, embrace it and enjoy the pain to an extent. Ideally, I'd love that 3,000, but I'll just give my best shot. Jared will be cheered on at the Matrix Boxing Gym in Ashmore. Liz joins us next and Liz, it was a lovely uh, chance to see some sunshine today. Yes, showers were substantial over the weekend and we're looking at some more wet weather later this week. I'll have details shortly. And also coming up after the break, we take you inside the reopened Wax Museum, one of our most enduring tourist attractions. We love being surprised. We love acts we've never seen before. Without people like you, we have no show. This is what I want to see when I watch America's Got Talent. We weren't expecting that. Does your mother know you do this? You've got to blow us away. It's awesome on steroids. You blew the roof off. New America's Got Talent, Wednesday on 7. At Pacific Harbour, Bribie Island, the beach is part of your life. Secure your large home site from under $290,000. Just 50 minutes from Brisbane Airport by bridge. Visit bribeybeach.com.au. The biggest thing since joining my budget is that we've eliminated almost all of our debt. And honestly, we have my budget to thank for that. Call my budget now for your free consultation. Hey, Tina, can you please slice the lettuce, tomato and onions, toast the buns, uh, grab the sauce and mayo and... Oh, and bring the meat. Take a break from cooking and get Hungry Jack's Flame Grill Whoppers delivered now on Uber Eats or Menu Lock. Hungry Jack's Delivery. The burgers are better. When cold and flu symptoms strike, a kiss can make them feel better. But for effective relief through the night, there's Nurofen for children. Starts to reduce fever from 15 minutes and lasts for up to 8 hours. Nurofen for children. VeggiePod is a multi-award winning self-watering garden bed and it's Australian. VeggiePod protects your veggies and promotes amazing growth rates. It's everything Australians love about gardening and nothing we don't. Visit veggiepod.com.au Save 20% on your second policy when you buy new eligible Suncorp home and car insurance together before July 10. Helping you save when you need it most. That's the Suncorp spirit. Are you ready to get back to life as you love it? Get full digital news access plus weekend home paper delivery for just $5 a month for the first three months. Call 1-800-323-111 today. This is Sunny. Sunny is a volunteer maths tutor. With inspiring people like Sunny, Origin has supported over 62,000 students through its foundation and education programs. Origin, powered by good energy. 
Tomorrow on Sunrise, how to cut the cost of your power bill this winter. The top five changes to save a small fortune. See you tomorrow, Gold Coast. Let's check the top stories just ahead in the news at six with Sharon Gadella. Amanda, just four months out from the state election, Gold Coast MP David Crisofulli has hosed down suggestions. He wants the LNP's top job. We'll have the fallout from the leadership showdown rocking Queensland Parliament, plus the latest on pay rises for public servants. An emergency at an Ipswich mine shaft, the operation to rescue a woman who plunged at 10 metres. Also tonight, fears after another protester test positive, what it means for the border reopening. The changes coming to community sport and training on the Gold Coast. We'll have details of a major breakthrough in one of Queensland's most high-profile cold cases. We also hear from the man in this image, a sign of hope in a time of violence. There's an outback manhunt underway after a savage attack on a stockman. Plus, a price war has erupted on the Gold Coast, 30% off white goods. The retailers bidding for your business. Don't miss that special consumer report. And the must-have toys of 2020 released. The old favourites making a comeback. All the details in 7 News at 6. One of the longest running tourist attractions in Surface Paradise has reopened its doors. The Wax Museum is urging locals to step inside. It's not every day you come face to face with a movie star. Here we've got Johnny Depp as um, Jack Sparrow. Or an astronaut. Here we've got Neil Armstrong. Or the most famous family in the world. We've got Will and Kate, obviously, um, the Royals. But at the Wax Museum, you can be sure of that and more. We've got about 120 figures on display. Um, we've got about three to 400 off display. The lifelike figures peer out behind their glass homes, each so intricate they're priced at around $60 thousand dollars. Each figure takes around two and a half years to make. Human hair is applied one strand at a time before they're finished off with glass eyes and false teeth. The museum's been in the Tomlinson family for decades. So the museum's been going since 1968. Um, and it's really been an ongoing attraction for Surf's Paradise. But it's the attraction in the basement that raises the most eyebrows, the Chamber of Horrors. There's very little blood, however, it is very, very, very interesting. Exhibits show how people were dealt with between the 12th and the 17th centuries. The torture devices are actually real and have been used throughout history from all over the world. The museum's now the biggest of its kind in Australia and there's never been a better or more needed time to come and have a look. Danielle McPherson, 7 Gold Coast News. Well now with the weather for the week ahead, here's Liz. Thanks Amanda. Hello everyone. A wet weekend and then sunshine to start the working week. That doesn't seem fair, does it? Those lucky enough to make it to the beach this morning were greeted by some inviting waves. But those same conditions that made the surf good also led to some morning fog for many Gold Coast suburbs and that was a lack of wind following the weekend rain. Our pick of the day is thanks to Chris Lockyer who captured sunrise off a Gold Coast fishing charter. Send in your weather picks to hear your name here. Currently in Broadbeach it's 19 degrees, humidity is still high, it's at 70%. 8 millimetres of rain fell yesterday but since 9am this morning just a trickle, 14 to 24 for Coolangatta, 13 to 25 in Canungra is warmer than it should be for this time of year as is 16 to 24 at the Seaway. The satellite shows the low pressure system and associated rain band is moving off the coast and behind it clear sky becomes dominant for much of the east coast but later this week, southeasterly winds will push showers back into the coast. But tomorrow, you get the washing hung out. 13 to 23 for Coolangatta, Eleonora, and Burley Heads. 11 to 23 for Rabina. 10 to 23 for Narang. And 12 to 23 for Coomera and the Seaway. For Surfers Paradise, 12 to 23. It may feel slightly warm with the humidity hanging around early. The Bureau is forecasting southeasterly winds up to 20 knots offshore. So expect choppy conditions and tricky bar crossings. The full moon is now behind us, so tight changes won't be quite as large. As I mentioned, fun waves greeted morning surfers. These pictures from Naranek. Tomorrow, fresh southerlies return, limiting clean locations to the southern point breaks, low tide just after 10.30am. And the easterly swell, solid on sets, 4.5 feet at 9 seconds. Looking at the week ahead, dry until Wednesday. Thursday, a shower to returns. South easterly winds over the weekend and showers right through to next week. And it has been unusually 
humid for this time of year. So if you've been a bit confused by temperatures or feeling a bit hot through the night, it's not you. It's <laughs> very much the weather. OK, good to know. Thank you, Liz, and thank you for your company this evening. We'll see you again tomorrow at 5.30. The news at 6 is starting now. From all of us, good night.